Welcome to our lecture online, and sometimes it's handy to know if a number is divisible by another number. For example, when do you know that a number is, is divisible by 3? Well, the way you do that is to take a look at a number and add up all the numbers together. So we have 1 plus 1 plus 7. So 1 plus 1 plus 7, that equals 9. And if this number is divisible by 3, this number is divisible by 3, since, of course, 9 is divisible by 3, that checks off. How about 2, 6, and 4? Well, add it up. 2 plus 6 is 8, plus 4 is 12. So 2 plus 6 plus 4 equals 12. Add those two numbers together. So we have 1 plus 2 equals 3. And of course, since 3 is divisible by 3, this number is divisible by 3 as well. So checks. How about this number right here? They get bigger, but no problem. We simply have to add the digits together. So this is equal to uh, 3 plus 1 plus 4 plus 7. That is equal to 4, 8, 15. And of course, then we go ahead and add 1 plus 5, and we get 6. And of course, 6 is divisible by 3. That means this number is divisible by 3. So that checks. How about a number that looks like this? It would take you a while to figure it out, or unless you use the calculator. But again, you don't need a calculator. Simply add the numbers together. And again, we can use the same trick. If any numbers add up to 9, we can simply discard them. For example, 2 plus 2 plus 5, those add up to 9, so we can get rid of those. Then we have 4 plus 6 is 10, plus 4 is 14, plus 8 is 22. So that is equal to uh, uh, 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 8 is equal to 22. Add those two numbers together. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, and say, nope. 4 is not divisible by 3, that means this number is not divisible by 3. All right, let's try this last one. Again, anytime any numbers add up to 9, we can get rid of those. Here we have a 9, so get rid of the 9. 4 plus 4 plus 1, that's 9. Get rid of that. And what do we have left? 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. That adds up to 9, so therefore, yes, this number is divisible by 3. So anytime you add up numbers that add up to 9, you get rid of it. If there's no, no numbers left, you know that this whole number is divisible by 3. And that's how we do that. Quick little trick, and comes in very handy sometimes.